Hello and welcome. I am the Polish Apple, or as everyone calls me, simply just Apple, and this is the art process video for my newest piece. Annoyingly, I never thought to record my process for making one of these posters, even though they're one of my favorite things to make. So this will be my first video on the process, but it's actually the sixth poster that I've done. Hopefully, I'll be doing more poster process videos in the future, as I have a list of about 40 ideas sitting on my phone waiting to be made. I had almost 26 hours of footage, showing off just cutting these objects out of the background. So I'll be skipping through a lot of it, especially because later on, I use a minuscule fraction of the things that I actually ended up getting photos of. So, while I did go through the trouble of cutting out literally everything, I figured that later on, I can use these assets to make something else. Most likely, another poster.
Here I am sketching out the layout that I think will look best. I don't usually do a sketch, but for the purposes of recording a video, I thought it would be a good idea. I go over the sketch a second time in order to find it just a little bit before I start throwing down the objects for the poster. Now I start laying down the objects for the poster, making sure to loosely follow along with that sketch I had done. Here, you can kind of see my process a little better, laying down objects, trying to fill out the space a little bit, and give a good variety of things to look at. Drop in a rustic background and start doing the contact shadows underneath all the objects to separate them out from each other a little bit more. On the crystals, I'm giving them a little more color and making them just slightly see-through. Work on trying to figure out how I want to do the logo. I originally wanted it to look like it was carved into the wood, but I ended up having a lot of trouble making that look even slightly good. So right here, you see me switch over to making it look like it was drawn out on paper. I switch over to Illustrator real quick to start designing a custom spell circle. The words right here are Latin, and they are very simple, just meaning, Satan, hear my prayers and come to me. Really just nonsense words. I then place the symbols that I had kind of randomly around the circle. Then 
These names here are the names of some random demon slash dark entities that I love the look and sound of. So I just put those around the outside of the circle. Back to Photoshop to do some slight visual distortion on the spell circle before putting it into the book and trying to blend it in with the book to make it look like it's actually on the page, and then adding a magical purple glow to it. Adding the purple highlights to all of the surrounding objects now to put them into the scene a little bit more. Right here, I'm giving the crystals a little bit of glow to give them a more magical feel. Darken the background a bit to make everything pop a little bit more. and then adding shadow on the sides of all the objects opposite the light sources. Giving the crystals a little more flair by emphasizing the faces a little with some shadow and highlight. The next step is to add the cast shadows to everything, and this is where I feel it really starts to come together, going from a bunch of flat objects to things actually together in one place. These shadows help tie everything together cohesively. Almost done now. So that it looks extra magical, I add a bunch of glowing sparkles over the top of the spell circle to really make it look like it's lighting up the environment. And to finish it off, I add rays of light shooting out over the whole poster. After all is said and done, this poster turned out fantastically. It's got a very comforting purple glow to it, a very cottagey kind of feel to the objects in the piece. It's definitely different to the previous ones that I've done, since those were all video game themed. But I do hope to do more of these in the future, and I hope you can join me next time. Thank you for watching.